Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I have decided to do a video every single day of March. I decided this on Snapchat yesterday because I have been slacking with the YouTube videos. I've not been uploading, I've not been feeling that motivation. So I'm gonna be starting today on the 1st of March with my wardrobe tour because it's probably one of my most requested videos and a lot of you said you wanted to see that. So let's get straight into it and thumbs up for videos every single day for the rest of the month. So I haven't actually watched a whole heap of wardrobe tours. I think I've maybe seen one or two a long time ago and I'm not really sure the general format most people do, but I'm just gonna go through my wardrobe. I have this wardrobe here with my clothes that I hang, my jumpers, and I also have two drawers in my chest of drawers. So I'm gonna show you all those things. One thing I do wanna point out and like put a disclaimer, I know the title of this video says minimalism series and a lot of people might watch this and think, well, that's not minimalism. Uh, wardrobe that's not very minimal at all you have a lot of clothes and yes I do still have a lot of clothes I have come from a background of being a shopaholic having literally I would say about four to five times this amount of clothing I used to have this wardrobe stuffed full with a clothing rail and another wardrobe upstairs in my parents house so I've come a very long way I've gotten rid of bags and bags and bags of clothing and I haven't been shopping so I would probably switch out a lot of these things. These aren't like the ideal things that I would have in my wardrobe just because lifestyles change and styles change over the years. But this is what I'm left with. And I obviously in the future will hopefully do an updated wardrobe tour for you so that maybe then I'll have the more ideal wardrobe. But I don't know, it's, it's never ending. You're always kind of wanting things to be perfect. So I just thought I would show you this as it is now because this is kind of probably the most I've culled it and I'm kind of happy with where it is and it's probably going to stay like this for a while. So yeah, but in the future I will be probably showing you a different wardrobe tour when I've bought more things that are more appropriate to my lifestyle now, and my style now and when I've gotten rid of a few of the things that I haven't been wearing and yeah, there's loads of reasons why you keep things in your wardrobe and I'm always improving and minimalism isn't a one size fits all and I've always promoted that on my channel. It is a tool that you use to improve your life and declutter and make things just better. So that, keep that in mind, don't comment, oh, you've got loads of clothes, this is a minimal tool, because I'm not saying it is. I'm sure you have, some people have less, some people have more, and this is just where I'm at. So I'm doing this just because people are interested, but yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so starting on this end, I have my only jacket I have left, which is a very beautiful jacket. I was nearly going to get rid of this before this video because I haven't worn it in a really, really long time and I had maybe 10 plus blazers and this is the only one left just because it's so beautiful. Um, it's vintage, it's second hand and it just reminds me of Chanel and it's gorgeous and I probably will get rid of this one day but for now I just can't part with it because just look at it and if ever anything posh comes along I can whack this on over a black dress. The next thing is this dress with the white collar. I love this sort of style, white collar, simple dresses. It's just a jumper dress. It's got pockets, really, really comfortable, really, really practical for where I live in England in the winter. The next dress is this gorgeous dress from ASOS. It's that neoprene material, so it sticks out a lot, but it's the most perfect classic black dress, LBD, and the back is slightly lower and it's just, it's perfect for ever if I need to dress up for anything and it's probably something I'm never going to get rid of and it's it just fits so well and it's just perfect. The next thing is probably one of my most worn uh, formal pieces of clothing and it's this jumpsuit. I love this thing. Oh, it's all falling off. It is, it's got like a low uh, deep V on the front and then it's got a low back on the back as well and then it's just simple all the way down and I ha always wear this when I'm not feeling my best because it just covers a multitude of sins and it just feels glam and it's great, I love it. I really want to get a um, less formal black jumpsuit for uh, summertime because I just love the way jumpsuits feel. They're just so comfortable and practical. Next is this play suit and it's got these little bows and it's just really, really cute. Again, and it's like little shorts on the bottom. I think you call them jumpsuits though. That's what we call jumpsuits. Um, 
in England and these are play suits, the shorter ones. I'm not, I think you call them jumpers maybe in America. Uh, but yeah, this is super cute. It looks great with this sort of top under it with a stripy top. So love that. Next, I have these two summer dresses hanging here. And this is secondhand and it's just a see-through-y kind of beach dress. I might take this with me to Thailand because it's just so practical and comfortable. And I might be taking this other one as well with me because it's a plain black strappy dress that is super large on the bottom. It's got loads of material, so it's very floaty. And then the back is that gorgeous, um, you know, what I'm talking about, those straps where the back looks really, really pretty and yeah. This is another black dress, which I'm kind of wondering whether I should get rid of or not. Um, it's got those lovely lacy sleeves, bell sleeves, very sort of 70s. And this was secondhand and it's got the nice lace. I love black <laughs> dresses, as you can tell, and lace. And But this is not lace, like formal lace, it's like crochet lace if you can see which makes it a bit more casual which I love. This dress is probably my most worn dress. It is so comfortable. It's from a charity shop. These sorts of dresses are in every single charity shop. The sort of longer tea dresses. The sort of um I don't know they're just so classic and they never go out of fashion and this is polka dots which is also great and it's just a bit longer so it's just above the knee and it's just oh I love it so much and it makes me feel glam. Makes me feel I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm from the 50s when I wear this and I just, it's just so good. I think every girl needs a slightly longer dress like this in their wardrobe because most dresses in shops are short and especially because I'm tall, they uh, tend to be very, very short on me. So it's lovely to have a dress that's a bit longer, that's super floaty and comfortable and yeah, I just love it. Next is this play suit with this cool pineapple print on it. This was a charity shop find again and yeah it's just super comfy then this is something that i think i might get rid of if you watched my uh party dresses video i got rid of literally an entire wardrobe of party dresses because i'd forgotten that i had that in my parents house and it was a whole wardrobe filled with party dresses and this was the only one that i kept that i had hidden away but i'm kind of feeling like i don't want it anymore it's not necessarily my style it's gorgeous i love it but the thing about these sorts of things is if there was to be an event or, I don't know, a posh thing that I had to dress up for a wedding or whatever, I'd probably wear one of the ones that I have there or buy something new that fitted me appropriately for that time. This, I don't see when I'm going to wear it, so I think I might get rid of it. I think actually I'm going to get rid of it. You guys are going to be like, no, it's so nice, but yeah, I think I'm going to. Next is this stripy, absolutely gigantic jumper thing. I got this from a charity shop and it was from Zara and it's meant to be oversized, it's size medium, but um, it's so comfortable and it's, it's a jumper material, but it's really thin and I love wearing this with leggings on days when I just wanna be really, really, really comfortable. Uh, Cause this is a sort of, this is a long sleeved um, top from Sea Salt in Cornwall, which is a really great brand, ethical brand. Um, definitely check them out. And this is just really plain sort of t-shirt length but this is longer and uh just it looks so cute and it shows your collarbones and your shoulders which i think is kind of sexy so love this this dress is a really simple t-shirt dress with a drop waist and this was from ebay it was originally from topshop and it's kind of one of those ones that doesn't have any seams for the sleeves and this is great under jumpers it's super comfortable and floaty and lovely love it Next is this summer dress, which again, I think I might get rid of because it's not really me anymore, the floral print. I don't know, I feel like this is turning into a declutter video. But this floral print, I do love it, and it's the, my favorite shape of dress, the swing dresses that are um, just a really big loop of material and they just swoop out and they, um, they're just so comfortable and pretty. But I'm not sure about the print anymore. What do you guys think? I'll decide, I think, based on what you reckon, but it's really really pretty but I think I'd rather get like a different I don't know I don't, it's not really me anymore so I think I might get rid of that but let me know what you think next are my dungarees these are just simple plain dungarees I got this from a vintage shop in London I actually have a vlog for the day I bought them so you can check that out if you want but yeah everyone I think needs a pair of dungarees in their wardrobe because they're really really comfy Next, I got these dungarees at the same time. Um, I'm not sure about these anymore. I think it was a bit of an impulse buy because I was getting a bit like, ooh, I'm going to Glastonbury and I want a pair of dungarees. So they're, they're cute print, but they're very large and they're not particularly flattering. So I don't know about these. This is coming into a declutter video. I think if there's anything in your wardrobe you're unsure of, you should just get rid of it, so. 
these are the sorts of shirts I live in and again they are in all charity shops in the men's section so definitely get your hands on these they are so so my favorite thing as you can see I've got four of these type of shirts um this is from top man and it's a plain red one the colors in my wardrobe are basically white black red and blue so yeah this is my favorite one I think it's so soft and the more you wear these the older they get the softer they get so they're better with age so don't be afraid of buying second hand because you often get the best clothes from there and then next is another one which is grey and this says it's from Dunn I don't know but they're just so great with leggings super comfortable and this is a flannel so it's a bit warmer and then I thought I'd show you these at the same time they're just two denim ones one light one dark I definitely wear the light one a lot more because it's more classic and it's got the sort of marble uh, buttons on there with a nice little um what do you call these sorry pockets and then this one's just a darker denim and I love both of these so much and now moving on to shirts I'm gonna hurry this up I feel like I've been talking so much about each into this little item I have this velvet cropped boxy top which i got from a charity shop years ago and this is really great um with jeans it just looks really cute and then i've got these two shirts one stripey one's polka dot i love stripes and polka dots as you can tell both from charity shops this is a really really cute really old top of mine it does have a hole in it so i kind of feel like i should probably get rid of it but um it's from top shop and it's see-through and it looks great on holiday with a bikini under it and a pair of shorts it's just floaty and lovely and it's a really silky material but I don't know about the hole can you see the hole yeah I don't know let me know what you think I should do next are my vest tops I have this grey one which is really old and it's from H&M it's just a basic grey vest top and then I have oh let's just take these all off and then I have this sort of lingerie style top which I really love it's so cute and this is from a charity shop and then this one which has that really cool back yeah it has that really cool back that's low it's inside out um <laughs> yeah but it's got a low back and it's plain and cropped and perfect i'll be taking this with me probably to thailand alongside this gray one i've had this gray one for ages and the white one's from asos and then finally i'm very proud of myself for this because my wardrobe in uni my like staple look was leather trousers like faux leather trousers with a, a floaty shirt and i had a, a floaty shirt like this in every single color you'll know that if you're fashion interested in fashion a few years ago those sorts of floaty silky shirts were all the rage don't know if they still are now but that's what everyone wore and i had them in every color length i had like two camel ones about three white ones a blue one a pink one a yellow one a red one i had every color and i would buy them all from charity shops because they're always in charity shops these sorts of blouses um so i only have two left and i'm so proud of myself for this I kept the most practical ones so this one's sort of like a summer one and it's a cotton really soft material so it's it's a great like cover-up I think for the beach in not so hot a country uh, like in um, England because it has long sleeves and it's also great with leggings and just in the summer if it's if you're if it's not like super super warm and then I have this short sleeved kind of silkier one like blouse and it's kind of see-through and it's got this cool I don't know it's kind of just weird and cool and I got this from a charity shop again and it's got this kind of strange button here these are items that i really don't wear as much anymore because as i said my lifestyle's changed a lot i used to be a uh, partier and uh go out a lot drinking and i don't really do that anymore so wearing these items is kind of not as necessary but yeah uh, I, I might get rid of this and then finally we have skirts i have two long skirts both from charity shops one's got this quite garish floral print and one has polka dots i wear this polka dot one a lot um i really recommend these sorts of long skirts if you live in a cold country because they look really really cute with um a pair of converse and tights and a big warm jumper and they're just so so versatile this one not so versatile but i do still love it it's a bit weird and i kind of like it and then i have this accordion skirt i think they're called and it's like this really lovely navy color that's really rich it looks better in real life and this was a charity shop find again and this one's not so long it's like knee length um but i love this in the winter with a jumper it's just super comfortable i just really like oversized clothing and skirts and yeah it's really lovely and then finally have these just two plain skirts a plain black you know the ones those sorts of skirts and then this 
camel brown one with the sort of buttons it's very 70s-esque i think that this is a very long video i'm sorry uh now let's quickly do jumpers i'm not going to go in as much detail i think this is probably the funnest part for you so these are my university hoodies i don't see myself ever getting rid of these just because they are memories from when I was at uni and I think that some people don't have sentimental items in the wardrobe but some people do and this has my name on the back because it listed everyone in the class um, of 2014 and then next I've just got all of my jumpers here I've got this vintage one from my mum which is you can you might have seen this on my Instagram uh, I have this vegan one from Jade Green Vegan definitely recommend her I wear this all the time I live in it it's just this big oversized sweatshirt that says vegan because and then it has all the animals on there and she has so many designs definitely check her out and it's just that one of those big oversized sweaters and I live in this and then I have this big oversized jumper from a charity shop that that sort of print that's uh, not print that sort of material that's kind of vintage looking and it's super soft and not too hot uh, it kind of is the sort of thing that keeps you warm but also doesn't make you overheat because some jumpers can do that and it's just oh super big and super great and then I have two cardigans, one's like a granny cardigan and one's like this electric blue one. And then I have some woolly jumpers here. I actually managed to get rid of, because I am vegan, if you hadn't guessed, I actually managed to get rid of all of my woolly jumpers because I had them for a while, just don't know, don't know how I felt when I was wearing them. There's nothing wrong with keeping clothes that aren't vegan when you go vegan, but sometimes I think over time progresses, you kind of stop wanting to wear them so much. This is the only, uh, woolen jumper I have left and it's from Edinburgh Woolen Mill and it's like that crew neck jumper and then I've got these two just simple one's black one's grey and this grey one has a turtleneck so that's everything in my wardrobe and down at the bottom there is my underwear there's just a small box with uh, a few bralettes and a few pairs of underwear but if you've watched my why I don't wear a bra and why I don't wear underwear video you'll understand why I only have like a small box for them because I just don't typically wear them day to day and I've got some of my socks in there and some woolly socks and some tights and also I have two pairs of sunglasses but I think I'm going to get rid of those because they're really crappy and cheap anyway but let's go over to the chest of drawers so this is my chest of drawers I share this with my boyfriend so I've only got a couple of them here is my um big uh, t-shirts I wear these to go to sleep in they are huge oversized soft old t-shirts I've had since I was really really young this is a St Andrews University t-shirt this is a tie-dye one I got from Glastonbury. This is my vegan one, the one that everyone has with the stuff on the back. And then I have a Harry Potter one. They are kind of like t-shirts that are just, I don't know, memorabilia type of t-shirts. They're just lounge t-shirts that I just wear around the house. And then I have two workout tops, like those sort of vest tops that are fitted. I have this jumper top thing which is, has a turtleneck, and that comes in a lot of handy to layer with in the winter. Then I have a plain grey t-shirt that I've had for years. I have this Fueled by Veg t-shirt by Jade Green Vegan again that I live in, and it's super, super comfy, and I got it in like a size large, so it's comfortable. And then this is a sort of basketball t-shirt that I cut the sleeves off, and I wear that to work out because I often find wearing sleeves makes me super hot. And then over here we have crop tops. I've got another vegan crop top which has vegan power and I think it's Bizarre Deluxe, but I'll link everything that I can link down below. And then I have this striped uh, sort of fitted crop top. I'll fold that afterwards. And then I have this one, which I've had for years. It's another striped crop top, but it's loose fitting. And this is from Topshop and it has small little shoulder pads. So it's sort of structured. This is a really old t-shirt. It's like literally my dad's old t-shirt and I just cut it up to make this really oversized crop top. And it has the raw edge. And it's just because it's the softest thing in the world and I really liked the stripes. And then I have a plain black crop top. I have a plain lacy crop top, which I might get rid of because it's kind of, don't know if it's really my style anymore. And then I have a, um, one of these things, bodysuit things, um, that's just plain black, long sleeved. And then in here I have my trousers and denim shorts. As you can see, this is not minimal by any means. I have a lot of clothes still, but I have four pairs of denim shorts. I have one that's a low rise pair. I have this classic Levi's high waisted pair. I have this pair, which is um, from a charity shop and they're really fitted and they don't fit me right now but um, one day 
These ones are a bit baggier and kind of more like a kid's pair of shorts. They're not as revealing and they're just a bit more comfortable. Then I have two pairs of culottes. Uh, they're sort of the baggy shorts, if you don't know what those are, and they're sort of knee length and they're in black and one's in polka dot. And then I have these sort of lacy uh, shorts, which I've had for years. Um, and then I have this sort of pair of shorts, which I'll probably take with me on a holiday because they're super practical and soft and small. And then I have a pair of tropical print ones, which I'm unsure of keeping because I don't know if tropical print is really my thing anymore. So as you can see, a, few, a lot of these things, there's always room for things to go. And it's all about progress and just sort of doing it in your own time. And then I have my pair of lounge trousers. They're just black and gray, really comfortable. And I have my pair of jeans. I do want to upgrade these because they are so worn out. They used to be black and now they're kind of this weird gray color. I want to replace them with a black pair. And then I have some American apparel disco pants, which I'm really reluctant to get rid of because I don't know, I, they, have a, they have a special place in my heart and American Power recently went bust, so I don't know. They're my only sort of pair of fancy pants or trousers. So that is everything in my wardrobe apart from this hoodie which hangs on the back of my door. It's just a plain grey hoodie and also my workout clothes. I have a sports bra, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt I worked, in this, worked out in this morning, but that's in the wash because it's dirty and also my shoes and my coats but i have a separate video for my shoe collection and also i have my most recent declutter cupboard clear out where you can see all of my coats and yeah i just want to reiterate don't, please don't leave comments saying like oh that's not minimal at all you have loads of clothes blah -de blah -de blah i'm trying to share just my lifestyle and i've used minimalism over the last year to downsize and it's really really dramatically helped my lifestyle i've come from being a shopaholic i have another video on that too and i have literally got rid of so many clothes i'm constantly getting rid of clothes as you saw i'm gonna get rid of three three dresses today so um i want to sort of help people out it's not just you have to one day get rid of everything and you've only got 20 items left you can do it slowly and you can slowly incorporate minimalism into your life and help it benefit you in multiple ways it's helped me so many ways so um this for me is so so great and it's so many less clothes than I used to own so it's only a positive thing so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow for the second day of vlogs every day in March give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye